Couch to 5K, a program designed to get the average person off the couch and running 5K in just nine weeks. I challenged myself to do this in 30 days, just over four weeks instead of nine weeks. And if I could do it, how fast could I do it? In this video, I'm gonna go over some of the benefits of running, the exact plan I followed in my experience. I went to the end of the video because I went to an athletics track at the end of the 30 days to see how fast I could get. Hi everyone, I'm Jay and on the channel I try to do 30 day challenges to try things that are meant to be good for you and see what benefits come of it. I am definitely a non-runner. The last time I ran over 100 meters was probably over 10 years ago, which I know is terrible. I'm not saying that running 5K in 30 days is particularly amazing or exceptional, but I knew it would definitely be a challenge for me. Before I started, I wanted to know what the average person could run a 5K in to see what I could be potentially aiming for. After looking online, the average time for a 5K seemed somewhere between 30 and 40 minutes. But looking a bit deeper, for my gender and age, it looked like the average time was 29 minutes and 27 seconds. So the aim, if I could run 5K, was to beat this time at the end of the 30 days. Now there are a lot of benefits of running, both for physical fitness, but also mental health and brain function. These include longer life expectancy, sleeping better, being able to lose weight, improving cognitive function, improving mental health and reducing depression, lowering blood pressure, building self-esteem. You get the idea, it's good for you. And if you want more evidence, I'll link the article down below that includes meta-analysis and evidence if you're looking for it. Now the original plan is meant to be nine weeks long and I'll put a link for that below to the NHS website that has that plan for free. In order to track my runs, I used the Nike Run Club app and I just held my phone while running, but you can use anything you want. You can use smartwatches, you can strap your phone to your arm, whatever you want to do. So let's go through the plan that I used. To begin with, before all runs, I stretched my calves, my hamstrings and my quads in order to prevent getting injured. Now I went for a quick five minute walk before my run to warm up. The first run I did was actually not on the plan. It was a quick run around the block, but just under a mile, just to see how I felt running for the first time in what felt like forever. And honestly, I felt like I was going to die. I did a decent pace, 4 minutes 55, but at the end I was really lightheaded, I thought I was going to fall over, I was coughing for hours afterwards, I just wasn't the same. And that's why I designed the plan with only 28 days left and designed it with a one day break between every single run in order to recover. And in the later days it was two days just because there were longer runs. The first session was 20 minutes long and it was repeated one minute runs followed by one minute walks. The second session was very similar. 20 minutes, except this time it was one and a half minute runs followed by one and a half minute walks. The third session was a one and a half minute run, a one and a half minute walk, a three minute run, and then a three minute walk twice over. Fourth session was a three minute run, a one and a half minute walk, a five minute run, a one and a half minute walk, and then a three minute run. Fifth session was a five minute run, and then a three minute walk, a five minute run, a three minute walk, and then a three minute run. Similar to that, the sixth session was a five minute run, a three minute walk, a five minute run, a three minute walk, and then another five minute run. The seventh session got really tough because this time it was the longest time I'd run without stopping. This session was eight minute run, five minute walk, and then another eight minute run. And then the eighth session was the most tough. It was a 20 minute run, non-stop. I managed to do it with a pace of 5 minutes 33 per kilometer and run 3.61 kilometers. Ninth session it got a bit easier with a 5 minute run, a 3 minute walk, an 8 minute run, a 3 minute walk and then another 5 minute run. Tenth session, 10 minute run, 3 minute walk, 10 minute run. And then I had a two day break instead of a one day break and went out for what was meant to be a 25 minute run. However, as I approached the end I thought let's just go for it and complete the 5k because I was already so so close and so I did, which meant on the 11th session of the plan, I'd managed to run 5K. This was in 26 minutes and 51 seconds with an average pace of five minutes 20 per kilometer. However, I did take this with a pinch of salt because I tried to map the run before I went out and the Nike Run Club app said I'd completed the 5K before I thought I had to according to the mapped run. The 12th session was meant to be another 25 minute run. However, I changed the plan and just decided to run at a five minute pace to see how far I could get, to test the waters and see what I might be aiming for at the end of the 30 days. I managed to get exactly three quarters of the way through the 5K to three and three quarter kilometers, but then my body just gave up. I just couldn't do it. There was no way I could continue running. And this is when it hit me that running is really hard. And it takes a lot of time to build up to get to where you want to be. And that was it for the month. There was the first test run at the start, the mile around the block, which was really tough. And then the plan, which only had 12 runs in it. And on the 11th run, I'd already run the 5K. And then three days later, it was time for the big day to go to the athletics track and see exactly how quickly I could do it. 
I knew I couldn't do the five minute pace because I burnt out way too quickly. All I really wanted to do was get underneath the 29 minutes and 27 seconds. The aim was really to be underneath the pace needed of five minutes 53 per kilometer. So as long as I completed every half lap of 200 meters in under one minute 11 seconds, I was gonna beat the time. It's a 400 meter track, so that's 12 and a half laps or 25 half laps. And I went for it to see what I could do. I didn't want to be holding my phone because I didn't want there to be any distractions. Really strangely, the app said I'd completed the 5K just before that final lap. It said I did 5K before I finished the 24th lap. And so clearly it was over 400 meters inaccurate. But I didn't want the distraction, so I threw the phone and gave it everything I had for the final lap. It was about five seconds between putting down the phone and my friend picking it up to make sure the time was still going, so I'll add on five seconds at the end. The last lap was very tough. I started it and went all out I thought I was out of breath, but when I saw the finish line, I really sprinted for it. So what was the final time? After adding on that five seconds, I did the 5K in 26 minutes and 20 seconds. At a pace of five minutes, 10 per kilometer. Live reaction. How does it feel Good. to do a 5K? What did the app say I did it 5, 5K in? 24 minutes, 58. That's it, I've done it. How do you feel? I feel good. Yeah. I feel good. Yeah. I feel... You look good. Thank you. I feel let down by the app. Do you want to make an official complaint to Nike? Nike. Nike, whatever you want to call yourself, you need to fix that. How does your body feel? It feels recovering now, it's all right. Yeah, you all right? Yeah, all right. Can you do another 5K now? No. No? No. So a month ago, you couldn't even run. One you couldn't ago. even run 10 metres, barely 10 barely metres. 10 metres out, out of you did a 1K run off the bat, and you said you almost died. I almost died. I felt worse than I did there. Today? Yeah. You've done a sub 26, seven minute 5K. How do you feel? I feel great. Yeah. I smashed it. The target was to get under 29 minutes, 27 seconds. Yeah, why are you, why, for 20, for why are you walking away from me? Why are you running away from me? <laughs> What's going on? Sorry, sorry. <laughs> no, I feel, uh, I feel great. The fact that uh, I did it under the average time for my age. That was the main aim and I somehow managed to do it. Didn't think it was possible at the start of the month. I've never ran before in my life, never. Last time I was probably cross country at school. And suddenly in 30 days, I could run 5K in less than the average time. Very, I'm very happy. You should be really proud of yourself, Jake. Thank you. But the inevitable question in all these interviews is, yeah. what's next? What's next? Oh, what's next? You've done a 5K, 10K, half marathon, marathon? Oh, well, let's take it slow. Maybe 10K, maybe Tough Mudder, maybe a sprint triathlon, normal triathlon. Who knows what's next? But this isn't the end. This isn't the end. What lessons have I learned from this experience? It's definitely improved my fitness and I do feel a lot healthier. But not only that, it's really helped my mood and it's helped with my motivation. Every time I come back for a run, I really feel motivated to get on with the day. It's like a little boost every single time, but I'm sure that's very similar to doing any sort of exercise. I've never really trained cardio, and so training it so consistently and seeing the results from the start of the month to the end of the month was really motivating. And learning I was capable of running more than 30 seconds without dying. Thank you for watching. Please like the video if you got some value from it and subscribe for more. Let me know in the comments if you're gonna try the 30 day challenge or even try the nine week program, given that you're not already a runner. If you like this video, you might like one of my previous videos where I woke up at 5.30 a.m. every day for 30 days. See you in the next video.